Her name was Caitlin Markham, and this is her story. From a kind little girl to a young adult with an infectious laugh, this film brings Caitlin to life. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. We want people to get to know her instead of just getting to know the face that was on all of these missing posters. Posters that started going up around Fairfield soon after Caitlin disappeared on August 14, 2011. Her fiance, John Carter, was the last known person to see her alive. John called and screamed in my ear immediately, Caitlin's missing. Police never called John a suspect, but public opinion was harsh. Quit going to John it. There's other options. His mother and strongest supporter is featured in the film. You can see in her heart how much she truly loved Caitlin and how much it hurts her that her son is uh, still possibly the focus. The documentary explores other theories, including one a psychic brought to life about an unnamed man. It's that man who actually beats her terribly. We stay very neutral and we want to just present the facts and let people kind of take a look at it as they can. Police Chief Mike Dickey talks about the investigation. Investigators in Indiana, where Caitlin's remains were found two and a half years after her disappearance, discuss jurisdictional issues. That happens to be one of the roadblocks, uh, one of many roadblocks, um, preventing a really great resolution as of now in the case. A resolution Caitlin's family hopes follows the release of this film. Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.